Hey guys, well today I'm going to be doing a bunch of welding and cutting and diff hanging and a bunch of other stuff. So what I want to do first is probably get this guy tacked onto here. And then uh, actually I'll probably grind that weld down and then tack that on because that's going to be hard to do. And I want this to sit flush at the top. Um, what I might do is actually stand it upright. I remember I was having the debate whether to have it like that or like that. I'll have it like that. And what I can do is when I get the, uh, the plates for the gooseneck, I'll, uh, I'll build a gusset out like that and then tie it into to that and that. So that'll work. That'll work indeed. Alright, you guys will notice this little weird thing. <laughs> it's, um, I don't even know what kind of material it is. It's like some plastic wood looking stuff. Um, it was off one of my aquarium stands and I dismantled it. So took this and made a GoPro camera mount for my welder. And I uh, sanded her down on the belt grinder and uh, painted it black, although I missed a spot. Um, yeah, I'm going to try to get some uh, good welding shots. I think that would be interesting too. I built that about a week ago. Now I get to try her out. Uh, I guess when I took the uh, axle off, it uh, pulled away a little bit. So I'm going to suck it back together and then uh, weld it there. Um, when I measured and cut this thing, I measured it a hair wider than uh, what this frame rails, what the frame rails were um, when the axle was under it and the weight was on. I guess when, when you got some weight on it, the axle or the frame rails slightly bow in, so another reason why that's important. Well, I got this cross member uh, all welded in now. That side's not as good. Um, and I ran out of wire about halfway through. But I got a cool close up shot, so worth it. Um, yeah. I'm going to weld the bottom sides of both of those once I cut that piece out and uh, get the other pieces welded in. So she's getting her. I'm really wondering how those shots are turning out. Hope I got some good ones. It is a little awkward. It uh, causes the back end to whip and uh, you need to use two fingers to control that. You can't just rest it against your thumb or something. So, um, yeah, it's hopefully it'll be worth it. <laughs> we'll find out, I guess. Okay, that was a very productive day. I got a lot done. I got the, the things burned off. Um, I still got to use the grinder and clean those up, but I'm done for the day. I got the frame notched out finally, so that's freaking awesome. It's right flush too, so that's freaking perfect. I'm very excited about that. Um, next thing I got to do is cut out my plates and weld them on and then uh, weld the bottom of this 
So, yeah, and I figured out, well, actually, my uh, father-in-law figured out a good idea for this whole uh, leaf spring situation. Um, I'm going to fix the bushings at a later date. What I'm going to do is blast the rivets out and run some good grade 8 hardware. So I've got six rivets per side, and then uh, I can just drop the, drop the springs down, roll the axle forwards, lift it back up, bolt it back in place. And then uh, set my pinion angle, weld those um, spring seats, spring perches onto the axle, and then uh, get some U-bolts and drop it back down on her own, uh, on her own weight. Shut up, dog. <laughs> Jeez. Yeah. So anyways guys, that'll do it for today. Give her a thumbs up if you liked the video. Give him a thumbs down if you didn't. <laughs> Don't forget to subscribe for more 3 plus 3 action. And until next time, take care.